queen, you crazy baby. Look, he found a honey pot. You're a little honey bear. I, I, you absolutely cannot do that. But I think it's the cutest thing in the whole world I have ever seen. There's only like an eighth of an inch of honey in the bottom of there. It's basically empty. All of these days of adventure have paid off because you found the jackpot. Okay, that's enough. We gotta put it away. Sorry. He's still a little bit angry about that. There you go, buddy. Wait, let me stir it up. It looks like Gracie needs to feed the cats. What are you eating? A meal. Who served you? Um, I'm being a mother. You're being a mother? Are you? Oh my goodness. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just got um, up in my face. Oh, you're cute. All right, enjoy your food. We have a deal with Grace right now. If she feeds the cats every single day, then she gets to get an animal of her choosing. Now, it may have to be the same species of an animal we already have, but she can actually have her own that she takes care of. That's been her request. She's still sleeping though. They've not been fed this morning. So as soon as she gets up, that's what she's gonna do. Anna is actually watching our kids and Brianna and I are going to town and we're going to do some stocking stuffer Christmas shopping. There's Oreo, you've been fed, haven't you? And the cats have been fed. How are you doing, buddy? Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. How are you doing, buddy? You doing good? We've really enjoyed having him. And his hips are going bad on him. Hey, hey everyone, how's Hi. it going? Hi. Hi, Anna. What's up? Arthur and I are in the car. Hi, Arthur. Hi. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys something real quick. We are the only ones in here. <laughs> We are on our first date without any children with us in years. That's right, that was an S, plural. We're gonna go do a little Christmas shopping together and have lunch together. I can't even express how much I've been looking forward to this date. It's pretty exciting. We're at one of our favorite restaurants in town. Pretty excited. You excited to be here? Yes, barbecue. Best barbecue I've ever had, actually. Here's your food. That looks awesome. Thank you so much. All of that is $7. $7. We don't even need two meals, honestly. I got the meatloaf. That looks so good. You ready to eat? Yeah, I'm gonna try their new barbecue sauce. They have like, what they call an applewood barbecue sauce. Yummy. All right, on to the next stop. Brianna wants to try on some overalls. We're at this kind of old time general store. They've got a lot of clothing, a lot of farm stuff. Except it's a real old time general store. It's not like, it's just pretend. It's an amazing store. It's my favorite store pretty much ever. Who makes those? Um, he? Why are you trying to get overalls? Because I hate pants. But I need something to, you guys probably noticed that, I always wear skirts. But I need something to work outside in and something overall. Okay, try them on. That's one fine hat there. Out back. Awesome. I think they fit great. Are they comfortable? Yeah, and they're just, I think they're loose enough to have like a sweater and a hoodie. Do you think you like them better than just like blue jean overalls? Yeah. Because they have the double knee. Okay. So they awesome. last longer. This is what I want for Christmas, actually. This is all I want. <laughs> I hope you haven't gotten me anything. Actually, I have not. supposed to be shopping for the kids but I think we were shopping for ourselves a little bit more but that's okay mommy and daddy can do a little window shopping now and then so I didn't find any boots but I did find this 
We, get, we decided to get each of the kids one for their stockings. I may regret that decision later. Now we're gonna head home and see the kiddos and hang out with Anna for a little while. It's gonna be a nice evening. So I got a gift for Grace that I'm really excited about. This is a little case knife. And I've realized that Grace is responsible enough to have a little pocket knife and with some supervision to whittle and to cut things. And so I'm really excited about giving this to her and teaching her how to use it safely. And I think it's actually really gonna touch her and kind of inspire her um, and call her out to being even more responsible. There's a dough right up here. Our neighbor just called, and while Anna and the kids were playing in the barn, he brought down a whole bag of oranges and left them on the porch. A really nice, classic Christmas gift. How special. All right, I'm making some, well, I'm heating up some soup. Brianna made the soup yesterday. It's a vegetable beef soup. It looks really good, really yummy. Hey, Buster Head, how are you? Yeah, you're funny. And then everyone else is in here watching White Christmas. Y'all having fun? I think they've watched this three times so far in the past few weeks. We don't really watch that many movies, but sometimes we'll just get one movie and we'll just watch it. So they're singing all the songs. Uh-oh, Brighton dropped his pretzels. Are you ready for the real food now? Where's his food, in the freezer? Let's check it and see if it's ready, buddy. Oh, still too hot. We're also making popcorn. My favorite way to make popcorn is just in a saucepan with oil. Look at that beautiful popcorn. I'm using, I like to use coconut oil. Coconut oil provides a really nice flavor, but it's also a good pretty high temperature oil and that's what you need for popcorn but i love the flavor of coconut oil it's very complimentary to the kind of mild sweet popcorn flavor there it goes that oil was hot when we started you're gonna need to get down so i can get out a bowl to dump the popcorn in okay, okay. this is filling up all right, I'll get it, okay? All right, careful. It still can pop a little bit. Oh, I need two bowls. What am I thinking? This is the small one, not the big one. After that pan cools down a minute, I'll throw a little butter in it. Not on the eye. You enjoying your soup? Yummy. Yummy soup. What a big boy eating soup. Good job. And then I'm going to take that melted butter and just drizzle it over the popcorn and mix it around a little bit. He wants some popcorn. Here you go. We missed our Sunday night popcorn, so now we're doing it. Thanks so much for joining us today. We really enjoyed this day. We hope you did too. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to our channel. Check back tomorrow for another great video. You all have a great one.